find this one just for you. Veg mayo, one of my there are easily available mayos in the market, and I think this is much better option to the egg mayo because it has a longer shelf life. So we have toast this with a lot of mayo because we want a good creamy sauce. Sandwich spread. This is a sandwich spread we are making. Okay, very simple ingredients: haldi, ginger garlic paste, and mayo. Now that we have brought these things together, we gotta mix them to become one, just a single, uh, consistent unit. So we need it to be a very uniform color. So is, uh, you can see the whites at the border of the mayo that has to disappear. So you gotta stir till you get that. That's why haldi is really amazing because it the color it catches on very fast and you don't have to struggle. I know a lot of uh, people wondering why the ginger garlic paste is not cooked and it's a raw stock, but it's okay. Ginger and garlic are both very healthy, uh, and even the haldi is healthy. So this is a pretty much a healthy mixture, and it's the rawness will get covered up when it is mixed with the other things so this is really something that you should try if you are skeptical about it it's difficult to tell you how it is okay now the salt is going to be a little less because I prefer salt uh, very less salt in my food but that you can adjust swad anusar and uh, I'm making a premix of all the spices that will go into it uh, into the omelette so that I don't have to run around. This is a kind of my method of doing it. It's not a compulsion. So that was pepper. That was fresh. So by bringing everything together, uh, what I create, what I'm creating is something that is an easy to go to when I'm frying the eggs, so that there is no hassle of running around and pre-measuring everything. So I'm measuring now for two eggs, uh, for two egg omelette, and I'm going to put it together in the bowl, so that I can get a mix that is already ready. So we already added the salt and pepper. Now we are going to add uh, freshly ground uh, curry patta leaves to give it a little Indian flavor. So that is uh, dried and crushed uh, curry patta leaves to give it a little uh, Indian. This is chili powder. You can add this according to your taste. I am adding a little heavy, I like my breakfast a little spicy. So we are going to give this a little mix, so that all the ingredients get uh, equally divided. So I don't have a headache of getting just one spice in, in one. So this is a colorful mix. So we have one more ingredient. So this is uh, dhania powder. Okay, and this is the last ingredient that's coriander powder. It goes into the mix and we we'll continue to stir together with the texture. You can see it's going to get a little darkish color from because of all the ingredients that we have added. And this is a colorful mix. This is a, this is a trick, trip or a trick just so that there's no running around to do when the egg is fried. Now we are going to add in half, uh, half of the mixed spices because we are making two. So this was for two. And that's it. 
ज़्यादा हाफ हो सकता So this is a secret ingredient that many people don't add. It's nothing very, not, not a big secret. It's just water, simple H2O. I add around uh, 30 ml of it to to the egg mix so that there is a easy flow like consistency, and uh, this helps the omelet spread out easily into the pan. It gets evaporated, so it's not going to add to the taste, but it just adds to the method. So I beat my eggs using a fork. Okay, it's better than a spoon because it allows for a little lathering. And uh, we're going to start with slow mixing. Then we'll start with the beating action. The frothier it gets, the better the omelet. So whisk away. I suggest that you tilt it slightly to get even more depth into the pan so that uh, the mix. Uh, We we'll heat up the pan and we lightly oiled the surface with oil, light, very light surface, because I don't like to use too much oil in my cooking. So very light surface oil, and then we'll add in a slight, small dollop of amul butter. Okay, so this is amul butter. I will just spread it out into the pan. It doesn't melt off completely. Add a little more. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to move the butter around so that there is an equal distribution of the butter, and the surface is totally buttered now, so that the When the egg comes in, it has a really nice cushion to get into. Okay. Apply some butter on top so that it melts into the bread. This is going to keep things ready for the next flip. It happens. I don't have to add oil. I cannot add oil again, so the butter is required. So now that the bread, to bread is less slightly, you can help it to get toasted. Butter it will get toasted easily. You press down so that if you can see the jiggly action. See it jiggles. As the bread is jiggling, that means it is the egg is getting cooked and it is also attaching itself to the to the bread. So I think it. We're going to take this mix which we prepared earlier, the sandwich mix. Okay, mayo and salad, and we're going to spread 
some of it on these sandwiches. So now. Same time because it's going to toast the the bottom. Put a spatula in like this and eggs are always a perfect breakfast uh, item and uh, you know, the, uh, the normal sunny side up and double fry gets a little boring so this is something to have when you're really bored and you want to I mean I'm a sandwich guy so if you have a give me a sandwich any time of the day I definitely want it have. so this is one of the best sandwiches that I have which has an egg and you could also add cheese in the egg but I prefer to go on a little low fat diet right now so So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, I hope you try out this breakfast item and I will try to put on more videos later on and I uh, hope you enjoy these meals. Happy eating, bon boy.